Hello again, friends. We're going to take this from the top. It's Cars and Coffee Dave here, coming at you live from German Motor Works, 51 Kentucky Avenue, 51B. Yeah, 5100B Kentucky Avenue. Uh, we're over here on the north, south, east, west side of Nashville. Take the 40 west a little bit, and uh, you will get over here. Um, German Motor Works is kind of like a Cars and Coffee event every day. Um, we got a C63 AMG. Wait, no, no, it's not a coupe. What is this? Is this an E? E63. Caught myself on that one. That's a good looking car in and of its own right. Sorry, I keep panning back and forth because I'm uh, trying to get my bearings here. We had a couple t technical difficulties just a second ago. Stupid Wi Fi got in our way. Uh, but we do have a Ferrari California here. Absolutely gorgeous. Very stunning. Look how big those brakes are. Those are some big brakes. And then uh, get a nice shot of the nose. Scary. And then behind it, we have a uh, 360 Vert. Another good looking car. Lots of red all around here. German Motor Works does a lot of work on BMWs uh, and specifically the, the M Division cars. Um, you will see several BMW M Division cars, uh, engine swap cars, and other cool stuff here in the next few minutes. Um, so there's an E46 M3 right there. And my producer is going to kill me for shooting at the sun, but there's another E46 M3 right there. Um, and then there's there's a couple other cool cars around here. I saw a debadged M5, saw a uh, uh, M540 clone or homage vehicle, which is neat. So this guy, this E46 M3 owner, is, uh, this is definitely a track car. Can check out those those worn worn track tires. And then this is a big clue too. What was once the passenger seat is now uh, storage for some roasted tires. Can see a six speed there and then what else they, they do Porsche they do Audi they do uh, anything European these guys do a lot of Italian stuff uh, Lamborghinis Ferraris all sorts of high-performance luxury vehicles can be found being worked on or improved here at German Motor Works e63 650 which is just very very clean good-looking car I wonder what it's here for uh, I believe, is this the glow-in-the-dark Gallardo from from Music City? I'll have to ask about that. Because this, I believe this paint is the paint that you leave it outside and just like a Frisbee or something else like that, it, it'll glow in the dark at night. So I'll come back in 12 hours and we'll do another broadcast and I'll show you guys what's up. Um, but see another, another M Division car, this beautiful E60 M5 very clean when I walked by it earlier this is a Dynan 7 um, in eat your heart out Amola red the uh, the e38 apocalypse is well it happened and it's still going on but um, it's pretty much diehards that drive the e38 now pretty much only people that are willing oh I just totally tripped pretty much people that are willing to spend the time effort and energy to to learn how to DIY a lot of things Vanos jobs, uh, I don't know, transmission swaps. Um, every BMW owner learns how to change out window regulators. That's just a fact of life. But this is the, this is an actual Dynan 7 in a Mola Red. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, sitting next to a D-Badge E39 M5. Check out those quad tips. That car, I wonder what the deal is with that car because it looks like it's been here for a minute. And, uh, and that's okay. I'm sure it's getting the love it deserves and needs. But then we got a 135 here. And then this car, if you've, if you've been out to the German Motor Works tent at Nashville Cars and Coffee, you've seen this before. It's a uh, E46 Touring. And um, has a conversion to it. It's got the complete e E46 M3 drivetrain. So S54, I believe the 6-speed. There it is, the six-speed, high six-speed, and then uh, and then the diff too. 
So they were kind enough to open the hood on this so we could check it out for those of you that haven't been down or seen it on the other broadcasts. But there it is. Good looking S54. Right at home where it belongs. Oh, and I didn't realize this. This X5 is a 4.6 IS, which uh, very briefly back in the day, this is like the fastest SUV in the world for a very, very short amount of time before Porsche came online with their SUVs and then the 4.8 and then the actual X5Ms came out. So, uh, oh yes, yes, and there is a Lotus right here. Thank you, Kendall. And as always, guys, uh, if you guys, I mean, this isn't Cars and Coffee, we're here at German Mode Works, but if you see something that you wanna see some more of, we are here to please you. So just let us know and we'll get it taken care of. So yeah, we are, uh, so, okay, so there's an E34. Oh, I'm, I'm crossing in front of a Bentley, first of all. I should probably mention that. I just about ran into this. Beautiful, beautiful. And then uh, E34, five series, classic. Okay, looks like we need to uh, just wait a second before we make our way into the German Motor Works office. One car I didn't show you was this RS7. Now, BMW guys don't like to admit it, but um, Audi does make some cool stuff in their S line. This one has had a little bit of work done to it. And by little, I mean a lot. Got a lot of carbon fiber accents here. There's a window in the carbon fiber hood. So you can see your turbo V8 doing its thing. Folding mirrors. Got a little two-tone thing going on here. And then we've got some, some good looking side skirts down here also carbon fiber although those might stick out a little much I don't know but there that is RS7 have you seen that Lotus over there? no I haven't walk over and check that Lotus out and come apart there. oh yeah and then there's this uh, another M3 just hanging out just doing its thing all right so there were, there were a couple things I didn't show you over here. Uh, I showed you that E46 M3. And then uh, this was, this is kind of like the overflow from Brett's lot. Um, these guys, like I said, do all sorts of BMW repair stuff. Uh, high performance BMW, Audi, Lamborghini, Ferrari, uh, maintenance. Check out this guy matte black very low very very low i mean that's like lower than a corvette low it seems like in the middle it seems like that pan and the floor is just on the ground mm, roof mounted air scoop probably for brakes maybe not maybe for something else I mentioned this briefly. Someone put a, an M badge next to this 540. This car, I think, has a body kit on it, but I'm not entirely sure. Oh, and that's an auto tragic on the inside, so eh, not as interested in this car anymore. That's their company race car. Oh, this is? Well, that would make sense with the numbers in the German Motor Works logo. I'll have to ask Brett about this here in a minute. This uh, E46 M3, that is apparently the company race car. And, oh, it's an SMG too. So I will have to uh, ask him about that. Oh, it looks like they forgot the grills. All right, well, I hope Brett is ready because uh, we're gonna head that way. See what he's up to. And really, every time, if you guys are just bored and you want to come to an impromptu car show, just come down to German Motor Works and bring your camera, bring a video camera. Because you can take lots of pictures, like uh, of that California and that 360 Vert over there, or the M3s, or the M6, or Tourings. I saw a Touring on the way down here this morning and it looked pretty good. All right. Where is Mr. Brett? You might have to walk in and start 
Oh, first of all, it's cool in here, which I love. Cooler is better. Hello. No one here. All right, well, there's nobody here. This is the uh, liquid molly station, huh? Got any of that? Oh, yeah, they do right there. 10W60, that's that good good. For you S85 owners out there, you know that 10W60 is your like lifeline. And uh, you've probably got a lot of it. But that's cool. They've got German made uh, automotive additives. Oh, look who it is. The man, the myth, the legend. The man, the myth, the legend. Are you a little busy? Uh, a little bit, just give me a few minutes. Yeah, no problem, man. So uh, as you all can see, Brett is very busy. He's uh, running his shop in by the volume of cars that were present outside, uh, it's easy to see why he's a busy man. Um, we are going to take a little look at what is going on in his workshop. See what the elves are doing while Santa's busy. Oh yeah? Oh, what is this? So I briefly overheard that this C63 AMG is uh, here for a PPI. It's not? That's an S63. Man, it is really big. DOS huge. Nice. Like it. So you never know what you're going to see here at German Motor Works, uh, like we just walked in and, and that pulled out. Uh, this is a Cayman GT4. Had to squish a lot of canaries to get all that liquid canary yellow out. <laughs> and then we got this Gallardo here, who's the better part of taking apart. See those dual throttle, throttle body intakes? that V10 goodness. See the block there. Exhaust. Exhaust. Transmission and diff goodness all throughout. Very good. So uh, they, I mean, they really pack a lot of material into not a lot of space. And uh, being here in the back of the car. Oof. I got to get in with a Gallardo. I haven't, believe it or not, Cars and Coffee Dave has never driven a Gallardo. So for those of you out there following with such vehicles in your access, hit Cars and Coffee Dave up on Facebook and say, hey man, come drive my Gallardo and we'll make a video out of it and it'll be fun. So uh, one thing you guys might not know is, is these guys actually do tire changes too. They, they will let you bring your own and they'll just throw them on or they'll order them for you and, uh, and have them put together and put them in their fancy tire balancing machine get you on the road without vibrations and nice and smooth there's always just look at all those so those blue boxes well half of the blue boxes some of those those are our vanos tools a lot of them are the other stuff i'm not sure what the smaller blue boxes are but there's just a lot of equipment in the shop and it's just amazing to see all that in one spot because i know how much one of those are and then of course with his liquid molly display on the inside. He's got a followed up back here. There's a garage full of fluids and tools. And and what is this? This is one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so this would be a V12. I don't know what kind of V12, but uh, they are in the middle of doing something to it on the bottom end of that engine. That's cool. Oh, transmission jacks galore. All right, and we're back at the front where we began. Well, I think it's time to get bread out here. Really is a nice day out today. Good day to be checking out some cool cars. I do want to see the inside of that Dynan 7, uh, only because I want to know if it's supercharged or not. 
because uh, that was the quick way. You could buy a supercharger back in the day, or you could get every bolt-on in the book. And I think those were your two ways to the Dynan 7. Or maybe it's the Dynan 7 was the one that had everything, and then everything else was just kind of a la carte. What? Oh. Oh, there's so much cool stuff to see. I didn't see a potato gun here. So the last time I made a potato gun was in high school. I, uh, I was, I think, 17 or 18 years old. And we would take hairspray and shove it into the back of this. And we had a piezoelectric lighter, like from a barbecue, that we, we, we cored out the center. So you could just, you press the little red button like you do on your barbecue and it would make a spark on the inside. So that's what, that was my last experience with a potato gun. And uh, that was, you know, kind of intense. No, uh, no permanent damage, only good memories, only fun. So those are the gentlemen that I believe are getting a PPI carried on. That S63 AMG, very loud, very large coupe. It's a Rentec R1 version. Oh, it is? Wow. Well, I'm going to follow that guy home and see what he does for a living, because I need that job. Um, you want to check on Brett for us? Yeah. Man, if there's one thing I hate, I hate dead air. Dead air. So we're going to come back and look at this E46 M3 conversion. It's a Touring, as you can tell, and they did not make those in a Touring. But nevertheless, there it is. Uh, Brett, I want to go for a ride in this car too. I think you got to make that happen somehow. You the man, figure it out. Then we had this 135. We had the Dynan 7. Oh, and I think uh, I think we're ready to go. Another look at that RS7. There he is. Hey. Hey. Nice to meet you. How are you guys doing? Good. Um, so, how are you doing today? Man, I'm doing good. Busy, busy, busy. Yeah. Do you, uh, what do you guys do here at German Motor Works? Because I've got my own idea of what I, of what you do, but you tell me what you do. Uh, we're a little bit of a jack of all trades. We specialize in uh, BMWs, Porsches, and exotics. Uh, we'll also do work on Mercedes and uh, a little bit of Audi, R8s, RS models, some of the higher line stuff. Yeah, uh, we saw Ferraris across the street. I've seen Lambos. Um, I, there's that Gallardo there. Now, there's another one out here. Is that the one with the uh, glow-in-the-dark paint job? No. No? Mm -mm. What color is that, then? Which one are you talking about? It's, it's right over here uh, next to the D-Badged M5 and, and in between the 650. You're talking about the uh, pistachio. Oh, is that, is that what it pistachio. is? Pistachio. I don't know the actual color name, but uh, we'll just go with pistachio. Okay, well... Um, <laughs> I, it looked like the glow-in-the-dark car, and uh, I thought that's maybe what it was, but that's a really rare, interesting color. So it's got high-end Porsches, high-end Lamborghinis, high-end Ferraris. Uh, BMW M Division is here in force. Regular BMWs are here. People get their cars serviced. Um, now, you've got a red uh, E46 Touring up front. Yeah. What's yeah. the deal with that? Well, it was a regular 325 Touring. It's now an M3 Touring. Uh, the car is for sale uh, if anybody's interested. Awesome, good to know. And how can people get in contact with you if they want to inquire about that? Uh, you can check us out on Facebook, uh, German Motorworks. Uh, you can call us, 615-383-3361. Um, you can hit us up on Instagram. At GMW, signals, whatever. GMW Nashville is yeah. their Instagram handle. So uh, go check that out. Um, you want to show us around your shop here quick and, uh, and yeah, tell sure. us what's actually going on instead of my best guesstimation of it? Yeah, so we got an X5 diesel up here on the lift. Uh, this one's getting some glow plug replacement, glow plug control module, uh, a little service work, oil change, filling up the diesel exhaust fluids. Uh, then we have to program the car for the, uh, the glow plug control module replacement. Uh, we just finished up our pre-purchase inspection on uh, Mercedes. I uh, saw that. That was an S63, S63. AMG. Very and nice that was car. a Rentec edition too, right? That car is a Rentec car, yeah. So, uh, we're we're selling Mercedes Benz and Nashville. Do you know what the horsepower and torque figures are for that? Uh, I don't off the top of my head, but it's high. It's a lot and a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> it's, that, thing, uh, that car's pretty, pretty rowdy. And he was just barely tapping on that, and it was making a lot of noise. So, yeah. so that was cool. 
Um, you want to go over to the Cayman and just tell us yeah. what the deal is with that? body uh, we're gonna be doing a cob tune on it and a fab speed exhaust uh, some BMC air filters also to go with the IPD plenum uh, should hopefully have this thing wrapped up today it's kind of a beautiful example of uh, a GT4 Cayman no it's perfect the paint the paint is perfect it uh, those giant tires in the back look really good um, just a good, good-looking car all the way around. So, um, you guys are kind of S85 specialists, right? Yeah, uh, really M car specialists, kind of in the BMW world. Uh, yeah, okay, we, so we yeah, you're M cars, you're so. M division specialists. You guys are all factory certified trained BMW mechanics. We are, and you all drive M cars yourself. Yeah. So you guys are you're you're like dyed in the wool M car enthusiasts through and through. <laughs> So if, if you're listening to this, if you have a friend with an M car that needs some work, maybe with rod bearings like my S85 is going to need here in a little bit, come on down to German Motor Works and talk to this man, Brett. Brett, Brett is a, Brett's a cool guy. He's an enthusiast just like you are, and, uh, and he'll take good care of you. Um, so this guy, Ardo, that's up here, yeah. what is, uh, what's going on with it? So uh, we're putting a clutch replacement in that car. Okay. Um, we uh, we use a company called GTE Engineering. Uh, they uh, rebuild a, a Lamborghini clutch. Uh, use a lot better components. Uh, should get some some better wear out of it. Uh, better drivability. Uh, so how many miles were on the clutch before it was replaced? Now, uh, off the top of my head, I'll be honest with you, I don't I don't remember. Okay. Um, but uh, but you're replacing with bigger, better parts. We are as as you do when you you, you mod or if you're going to go maintain anything. Yep. We're also while it was apart. These timing covers right up here on either side, mm -hmm. uh, they tend to leak oil. Okay. Uh, so we removed those, resealed those, uh, fixed the oil leak, cleaned off the whole car. Uh, once everything's buttoned back up, then we have to uh, utilize, we have the factory Lamborghini diagnostic equipment. Uh, we got to utilize that, teaching the clutch, uh, all the shift points, all that stuff. How to be a clutch. Yeah, how to be a clutch. Yeah, is, uh, teach the clutch true. how to be a clutch. That's awesome. Yeah, pretty cool car. I mean, uh, the pistachio uh, Gallardo out front is also in here for a clutch. So once this one's wrapped up, uh, we're going to get that car in and uh, do a clutch on that one. No, I got to be honest with you. I see a lot of Lamborghinis in here for clutches. Pretty much every time I come here, there, there's another Lamborghini up on the yeah, lift for a clutch. Up a Murcielago clutch too, yeah. yeah, the orange one, right? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, obviously, I'm going to sound like an idiot. They're high power, high, high performance cars. Mm -hmm. And they just eat through clutches. Um, you know, unfortunately, the inherent function of the system uh, is it's going to kind of rod the clutch quite a bit. Yeah. So it's not banging you around all over the place. And, I mean, they still do shift pretty harsh, but uh, you know, it tries to rod the clutch a little bit, make it as smooth as it can. But ultimately, it's not the same as your foot. Yeah. You know, letting the clutch out and controlling things. So, one of the downsides to the system being smooth is to wear the clutch. Do, do manual cars uh, come in with less clutch wear in general, or is it? Typically, assuming the person who owns it knows how to drive stick. Yes, but if not, that goes the other direction real fast, <laughs> and yeah. after 5,000 miles, oh, we're back for another one. Also, I mean, if you sit in traffic a lot, that type of stuff, I mean, you're going to go through clutches in any of these cars significantly more often yeah. uh, than if you were you know, driving all highway or, or what have you. Oh, sounds like we got a little exhaust rattle back there. Yeah, yeah, we just finished up putting an engine in that car. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's the one that had the seized, seized engine, the N55 at like 20K or something? Or, or? No, it's got 100. Yeah, it's got 100,000 miles on it. But it had a seized engine in it. it did, okay. Yeah. Yep. All right. Um, so that car has a, a flapper in the exhaust, and uh, unfortunately, it came in here missing the spring clip which goes between the motor and the actual flapper. So what you hear is literally just exhaust pulses just, just beating the flapper valve open and closed. So it just needs a spring to kind of draw it down. Yeah, all a little the time. $8 or, part. Okay. $8 well, it, it usually is the little things that cause the biggest headaches. So uh, <laughs> it can. Yeah. So what year is this 328? Uh, I believe it's a 
2012 or 2013. Cool. So yeah, little four cylinder. Awesome. Well, you've just it's it's great to see your shop uh, growing and expanding and thriving. Do you have any news about the future of your business that you want to share, or man, we any some... any plans we'll, for we'll... things going nearby, or we got a few things going on. Uh, we'll uh, we'll make some announcements about it in, uh, in a few months, but we have uh, some big news for Nashville. Uh, Absolutely. Keep it under wraps for right now. Well, I understand that. Got to mind your P's and Q's. Uh, Brett, thank you very much for for being with us today and letting us come poke around and disrupt your operations. And um, we will see you at the next Cars and Coffee. We'll be there. Thank you, guys. You're welcome. Have a good day. Take care.